Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James, and today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the new map Uplink and the original map that it's based off of Summit from Call of Duty Black Ops. I did the same for Firing Range and Studio, and also Nuketown 2025 and the original Nuketown. Now with that being said, for those who are new to Call of Duty and may not know what game I'm playing, I'm actually playing Black Ops 1, the original Black Ops I'm playing on the original map Summit, in which Uplink was based off of. Now down in the comments down below, I want to know if you could bring any map from Call of Duty Black Ops into Black Ops 2 and make it its 2025 version. What map would you do? Would you do something like an Array 2025? Or would it be, I don't know. There's a bunch of different maps in that game. I can't really recall any of them right now specifically, but I wanna know which map you would bring back from Black Ops 1, excluding the three maps we've seen already, which are Firing Range, Summit, and Nuketown. All right, now hopping onto our first image here, we have the two compared side by side. We have an aerial view, and you can already tell there's a lot of new different things. New in Black Ops 2 is this whole lighting system and reflection based off of the sun and stuff. We've noticed that a lot more and kind of has like a battlefield style with the rainbow-ish reflection. I didn't really see that in any other Call of Duty games before, but something that's definitely noticeable is the lighting. It's a lot darker instead of snowing and being kind of a bright white. It's really dark, it's raining, but there is sun outside giving it a little bit of brightness. I don't know, it seems like a really dark, more of a gloomy map. And, uh, I mean, not too much we can see over here. The satellite dishes were kind of changed to something blue. I have no clue what that is. And it's overall more of a modern feel to it. Now, definitely more of a modern feel on the inside also, too. As you can see, the stairs are lit up. They have more of a futuristic look as compared to the stairs in the original Summit where they look more simplistic. I mean, the whole inside looks futuristic, redone now, kind of almost like a Halo feel. But they, they did they redo this as part of the 2025 process, making it all futuristic. Now, right here, we're hopping inside behind a player in third-person view running in right to where B-Flag would be in Domination. It's right in the middle there. As you can see, there's a player camp in there in the corner and uh, like I said everything's redone completely it has more of a modern futuristic feel it feels darker but it's still going to feel you know similar you're gonna play on the map for the first time but feel like you already know the map layout because you've already played on the map before if you played Summit and Black Ops 1. Now there's actually a sale going on if you wanted to get Black Ops 1 it was actually half price I think that only went to Monday though so it is a little bit late on that but definitely if you haven't got a chance to play Black Ops 1 I definitely recommend getting it if you have a few extra dollars on hand it's a really fun game especially when it first came out right now it doesn't seem you know doesn't seem too too much it kind of blends in with all the other call of duties but when i first started playing it i really loved it and that was one of my favorite games and still to this day is one of my favorite call of duties up next we have someone rushing out of the spawn like i said completely redone instead of futuristic buildings on the right we actually have a stone kind of ancient looking building which is surprising uh like and the in the original there was Honestly, more of a futuristic looking building than there is in the future map, and that's kind of confusing, but uh, they seem like they, instead of getting a future building here, they made it look all, you know, run down and looks almost like an ancient building. I don't know, it seems out of place in my opinion, but that somehow manages to fit with the whole map. We'll get a better look at it once the map officially comes out. Now, for those who are wondering, the maps officially come out on July 2nd for the Xbox 360. Xbox 360 is usually a month before the other consoles, which is PS3 and PC. If you want to learn more about the maps and know everything you're going to be getting and know what to expect, check out the video down in the description. I'll also have it at the end of this video, and you can check that out and know everything about the Vengeance DLC before it drops. We're taking a look at the opposite side of the map as we did on the previous image. Uh, we're going to be here today. It looks pretty futuristic like the whole rest of the map. Darker, same consistencies as all the other images. It's darker, has a more futuristic feel to it and it's definitely not this snowy like old looking launch facility it has this new look to it it does look in the mountains though based on that picture you can see like a mountain in the background but it's very it's very dark and raining it's storming and I wonder if that's gonna be you know there's gonna be a lot of rain going on on that map from the images it looks like there's definitely going to be rain coming down while you play the map which is kind of cool I mean I like rainy maps and it's some, definitely something new. I don't see too many rain maps in multiplayer, so that'll be something cool to get a chance to play with. And for our last slide here, we have someone shooting the MK48 uh, back kind of into where that old kind of ancient brick building was at. And, uh, you know, definitely we can see the opposite side of it on the old summit image. Looks a little bit more futuristic on the old image, actually. But, you know, same consistency as all the other images. It's dark. It has this rainy feel to it. And it's overall going to be a pretty cool map. I'm definitely excited to see their twist on Summit, a modern remake, Summit 2025, as you may say. And I want to know, like I said earlier, down in the comments below, if you could bring any map back to Black Ops 2 from Black Ops 1, 
what map would you want to bring back? Make sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below. I'm definitely excited to see what maps you want to bring back from Black Ops 1. Now, with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, that's all right, too. Also, if you're new around here, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing coverage from day one on the Vengeance DLC, including all the new maps and the new Zombies map, along with the new Ray Gun Mark II. That's really about it, and have a great day. I lost it.